Welcome back to the channel. We are extremely busy, however, we are working hard to find time for you to benefit from our structural engineering knowledge and experience. In return, we simply need your support to keep going. So, please bear with us. To catch up with you, in this quick tutorial, we will explain how to design a trench fill foundation. Trench fill foundations are trenches with a minimum width of 450 mm. Trench fill is often used when soil is loose, or in areas with a high water table. This type of construction can be quicker than strip foundations, since there is a labor saving in the construction of the subsurface walls. Concrete mixes for strip and trench fill foundations are generally ST2 or GEN1 mix. ST2 is a standard mix consisting of 4 to 20 mm stone, graded sand and water. BS5328 section 4 provides the mix proportions. 50 kg ordinary Portland cement, 200 kg fine aggregate and 400 kg coarse aggregate. ST2 has a compressive strength of 10 newton per square millimeter. GEN1 is a designated mix. BS5328 section 5 specifies the mix. The mix strength is also 10 newton per square millimeter. As an example, consider designing a trench fill foundation with a width of 600 millimeters and a depth of 1 meter. The soil depth over the foundation is 200 mm. We have the axial loading, which is 20 kN per meter dead load, and 15 kN per meter imposed. Load width is 300 mm. Also, we have the dead surcharge load 4 kN per square meter, and imposed surcharge load 1.5 kN per square meter. As a result, we must calculate the maximum base pressure as well as the minimum depth of an unreinforced foundation. Assume a maximum bearing pressure of 100 kN per square meter. First, working out the total axial load which equals 20 plus 15, giving us 35 kN per meter. Total foundation load equals, open bracket, Dead surcharge load, 4, plus imposed surcharge load, 1.5, plus, foundation self weight, which is density of concrete, 24 kilonewtons per cubic meter, multiplied by depth of foundation, 1 meter. Plus, soil self weight, which is density of soil, 20 kilonewtons per cubic meter, times, depth of soil over the footing, 0.2 meters, close bracket, multiplied by foundation width 0.6 meters. We now have a total foundation load of 20.1 kN per meter. Therefore, the total base reaction equals 35 kN per meter, plus 20.1 kN per meter, which is equal to 55.1 kN per meter. Therefore, maximum base pressure equals Total base reaction, 55.1 kN per meter, divided by the foundation width 0.6 meters. This results in a value of 91.83 kN per square meter. So, the maximum base pressure is less than allowable bearing pressure. Finally, we must determine the unreinforced foundation's minimum depth. The minimum depth of an unreinforced foundation equals either the maximum value of 300 mm or half the width of the footing 0.6 m minus load width 0.3 m multiplied by either of these maximum values. As a result, the minimum unreinforced footing depth is exceeded. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe.
goodbye, and see you soon.